House Democrats on Thursday night flagged to a federal appeals court panel comments made earlier this week by President Donald Trump's lawyers during the Senate impeachment trial in hopes it can spur a win in a pending case that could open a spigot of new information in their bid to remove the president. The two-page letter from the House's top lawyer brings to the attention of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit remarks made by Trump's personal attorney Jay Sekulow on the Senate floor questioning why Democrats hadn't tried to secure testimony in court from a key former White House aide, rather than push ahead with impeachment. Sekulow's comment, House Counsel Douglas Letter wrote, runs counter to one of the central arguments the Justice Department has made that federal judges should not get involved in disputes between Congress and the executive branch. President Trump's arguments in the impeachment trial contradict DOJ's assertion in this case that the committee may not seek to enforce its subpoenas in court, Letter said. A three-judge panel from the D.C. Circuit is expected to rule any day now in a case involving the House Judiciary Committee's months-long fight to subpoena testimony from Don McGahn, the former White House counsel. McGahn served as a star witness in the Russia inquiry, meeting for 30 hours with special counsel Robert Mueller's investigators and sharing details about Trump's efforts to stymie and kill the probe into Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. Democrats approved a subpoena for McGahn last spring, but Justice Department lawyers blocked his compliance, prompting a drawn-out court fight that culminated in November with a decision from a federal judge in favor of the House. The department appealed the case to the D.C. Circuit, arguing both that McGahn and other government officials enjoy absolute immunity from testifying and also that the courts shouldn't meddle in these kinds of disputes. The McGahn legal dispute has taken a backseat to the current House-led impeachment push, which centers on Trump's attempts to pressure Ukraine into launching investigations into his political opponents. But House Democrats haven't let go of the McGahn case, either, and their lawyers have said in court that they could use any evidence uncovered if they secure a win either in the Senate trial or by pursuing additional impeachment articles against Trump. Against that backdrop and with the McGahn case still pending, House lawyers seized on remarks Seculo made on Tuesday during the impeachment trial that appeared to undercut the Justice Department's claims in court. On the Senate floor, Seculo said, the president's opponents, in their rush to impeach, have refused to wait for judicial review. Letters response, in light of President Trump's argument, it is not clear whether DOJ still maintains its position that courts are barred from considering subpoena enforcement suits brought by the House. At the very least, President Trump's recognition that courts should resolve such suits undermines DOJ's contrary threshold arguments in this case, which seek to prevent the House and its committees from seeking judicial resolution of subpoena enforcement disputes. The executive branch cannot have it both ways. Letter added. Democrats on Thursday also sent a letter to the D.C. Circuit in a second impeachment-related case tied to their long-standing attempts to learn Mueller's grand jury secrets. In that letter, they informed the court about the start of the Senate impeachment trial this week and urged it to rule expeditiously on whether impeachment investigators can see all of the blacked-out words, phrases, sentences, paragraphs and entire pages in the version of the Mueller report released last April summarizing his investigation. It is difficult to conceive of a public interest more substantial than ensuring that the House obtains highly pertinent evidence to present to the Senate as it considers whether the president should be removed from office. Letter wrote. Two different D.C. Circuit panels heard arguments earlier this month in both the McGahn and Mueller grand jury cases. The Justice Department did not immediately respond to a request for comment late Thursday about the latest House Democrats' filings. But a senior department official earlier this week pushed back at the notion that Sekolo had undercut the department's case. Instead, it insisted that the House had jumped the gun by pushing for impeachment without waiting for a judicial ruling. If the House thinks it has the right to challenge privilege assertions in court, the senior official said, it cannot refuse to use that tool and instead leap immediately to the most extreme measure the Constitution provides. Kyle Cheney contributed to this report.